So today I got the opportunity to do something that I've always wanted to do. Now this video isn't to brag, it's more so to thank you. To thank you that's watching right now and to thank everybody that's been watching my channel for the past couple months because without you, today wouldn't have been possible. So a bit of backstory, today is May 20th. I should actually be at work right now, working my nine to five. Well actually working my nine to nine because um, yeah, I work 12 hours a day. But I took the time off because I got hired to do a job. I was hired to take pictures at a funeral. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, on the side, I do photography, okay? So if you wanna hire me for your uh, event, holla at me. The lady canceled on me. Now, she said they decided to go with somebody else because they wanted videos and pictures. But, you know, I'm I'm not stupid. My prices was might be a little too steep for them. And that's, that's cool. My price is my price. Don't change your price for anybody. You know what I'm saying? And to be quite honest, my price is very reasonable. When you hire a photographer or somebody to do videos for you and your event, they're not charging you for coming to your shit. We're charging you for the, the time it's going to spend to edit your stuff to make it look how you want it to look. I feel some type of way about it because I didn't take a deposit and I ended up taking a day off at my job. And I didn't want to go back to my supervisor and be like, listen, man. Yeah, I can't go to, I'm not going to that funeral anymore, so, um, you know, let me get back on the schedule. Because, to be quite honest, I feel as though he was under the impression that I'm going to attend somebody's funeral. Now that I'm going to work at somebody's funeral, and I didn't feel like getting into all that. I decided, well, you know, I got the day off. So, I'm chilling in the house. I decided to take my son to Chipotle. We're on our way to walk inside of Chipotle. Is this old white couple in front of us. Instead of them walking right in front of us and closing the door behind us, they held the door to let us go in front of them. And that kind of touched my soul. So we walked in there. We ordered. I ordered the food for me and my son. And I waited until they came. And I paid for their food. And you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, that felt really good to be able to pay for their food. A few months ago, I, I wouldn't even think about that. I wouldn't even think about that. I'm going to be real with you. A few months ago, that was not going down, man. I was able to do that today because of y'all. I'm going to be real with you. Because of y'all, because y'all been watching the videos, because y'all been supporting, I was able to do that today. And I'm grateful. I'm extremely grateful. It's a few of y'all who've been subscribed to my channel and you know about the ups and downs I've had with YouTube. And, you know, even now we still have little ups and downs, but I'm still grateful. Like, I'll forever just remain positive. You feel me? Forever I'm just going to remain positive, bro. That's, that's how you should be. I was able to pay for some people's food today. You feel me? Like, and without blinking an eye, bro, I just... Yeah, man. You feel me? Even, you know you know what's crazy, though? When you do shit like that, people be looking at you. Because at first, the chick that was behind the cash register, she was just... And I was like, oh, I'm going to pay for their food, too. She's like, aww. And she got, she got a big-ass smile and shit. Like, no, bitch. That wasn't for you. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to be real with you. I've came a long way with this whole YouTube shit. Because, like, for me, YouTube is like the girlfriend that, um, she just keep hurting your feelings. But you keep giving her chances. And I ain't going to lie, it finally paid off. <laughs> I'll be real with you. It finally paid off. And I'm glad it paid off, man. Because at one point in time, man, this shit made me depressed as hell. It was a point in time where, it was right around the time me and my wife got married. We went to get married in my country. You know, I'm Grenadian, those of y'all don't know. And when we went out there, I saw my grandmother. My grandmother was in a, she wasn't in a nursing home. She was like in a, I forgot what kind of home it was. But basically my aunt used to work there. And my aunt was able to get her a bed there for free. And you know, they took care of her and everything like that. They took care of her more than they really took care of the other people that stayed there. But my grandmother was blind. So what used to happen was people used to steal her stuff. You feel me? Like she would have all this extra food and everything and people used to steal it from her because she was blind. So when me and my uncle went out there, um, we didn't like that. So we ended up putting her in a nursing home where they were supposed to take care of her better. The only difference is we had to pay for it. So we decided that we was going to split it down the middle. And it was cool the first couple months because... You know, I was able to cough in some bread. But then the adpocalypse happened. And the adpocalypse was where YouTube just started demonetizing, like, everybody's video. 
And after that happened, bro, like my channel just suffered. Like I was I was barely making money to stay above water. And it got to the point where some months I wouldn't make no money at all. And I that shit hurt my feelings because like if there's one thing about me, bro, I don't like owing people money. And I don't like I don't like scheming. You know what I'm saying? I don't like scheming as people. And I don't want nobody to feel as though I'm scheming on them. So, like, because I wasn't able to uphold my end of the bargain with my uncle for paying for my grandmother's nursing home and stuff like that, I literally felt like, damn, bro, I lied to my uncle. I let my uncle down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I took advantage of my uncle. like that. And I remember I was having a conversation with him. He's like, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay, Roderick. It's okay. And so, you know, that transpired. Then my grandmother ended up passing away. And, um... But well, before my grandmother passed away, my auntie Yvonne passed away, and I didn't have money to be able to go to her funeral. Then my grandmother passed away, and uh, I was able to go to that funeral. And from then on, like I was kind of in like a down, a downward spiral. You feel me with my my mind or whatever. But anyway, <clears throat> fast forward, I just kept on doing YouTube. Sometimes I'll stop, kept on doing it, then I'll stop. And last November, my uncle passed away. Yeah, so my uncle passed away, and they had to hold his body for a few months because they had to um, do an investigation because there was some foul play with the hospital. Basically, the hospital messed up, and that's actually how he died. Like, he had surgery. He, had, he got in a bike accident, like, two years ago, but he never really fully recovered. And he had, like, some brain trauma, some stuff like that. And he went to the hospital. They, they discovered they had to do surgery. They did surgery on him. And instead of leaving him in intensive care, they brought him back to his room. So he woke up, and he ended up pulling, like, all the stuff out his nose and everything. And he went into a coma after he did that. According to what we know... They was actually supposed to have him in intensive care, and somebody was supposed to be watching him just in case he woke up. They didn't do that, so they had to do an investigation. But anyway, during this time, during this time, the job I was working at wasn't, um, they lost customers. So we, instead of working 40 hours, we were working 34 or 32. I believe he was working 32 hours. And I didn't have money to go to my uncle's funeral. And um, around that time, you could actually see, that's when I started like uploading two and three videos a day because I was just trying to, I was really trying to have money to pay, to be able to pay the rent. To be quite honest with you, I was really trying to get money to pay my rent, bro. And my wife was actually holding it down. She held it down for about two months. And um, y'all yeah, started coming into play. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what I don't know if, if if I'm not the most superstitious or most religious person, bro. But maybe my uncle, my uncle lit lit a fire under YouTube, man. Maybe this my way, this is a way of my uncle blessing me because now the videos are doing pretty good. And like I, I don't, you know, what I'm saying I'm not, I don't, I'm not greedy. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not greedy. Like, I'm not gonna make videos out of pocket to get views type shit. If that makes sense. Like, the videos that that we watch are literally me. Eva, it's literally me browsing the internet, bro. I gotta do like a behind the scenes so y'all can see how I do these shits. It's literally me having my camera on and either going through my TikTok, going through my Instagram, or going through Worldstar. And then I'll just chop it up and put it together. That's literally what it is. Like, it's not me pre-editing videos or pre-this or nah. Like, as I see it is how y'all see it type shit. So, yeah. But I just wanted to really come out here and thank y'all for uh, supporting me. Supporting my channel. Watching the videos. And uh, we don't know what the future holds, but... For right now, I'm grateful.